I want to start with the president's comments last night in Michigan about that state's governor, Gretchen Whitmer. You got to get your governor to open up your state, okay? Lock them, Lock them all up. It's incredibly disturbing that the president of the United States, 10 days after a plot to kidnap, put me on trial and execute me, 10 days after that was uncovered, the president is at it again and inspiring and in incentivizing and um, inciting this kind of domestic terrorism. It is wrong. It's got to end. People are very frustrated with that governor. It has nothing to do uh, with this attack against her, this attempted attack against her. Uh, but I think you're hearing people's frustration play out there at the Trump rally. Right. First of all, the president uh, and his FBI foiled this plot. And I think go go Governor Whitmer is really uh, inappropriate to try and lay blame at the president. These were sick individuals. There was no political affiliation. They were attacking the Capitol as well. We're glad she's safe. Her family's safe. But again, let's not politicize. He's saying lock them all up. Because of her locking down our state. Does the president have any regrets about what he said about Governor Whitmer and then joining the crowd and chanting lock her up? No, not at all. I think the fact of the matter is that many residents of Michigan are pretty frustrated with the governor. They want to see the state open back up. And we were pretty swift to condemn the anarchist, uh, the radical that was released by the Democratic governor of Delaware, who was threatening Governor Whitmer. I think that was reprehensible. That was terrible. And I'm glad that President Trump's DOJ was able to get these uh, psychopaths and put them away. But the fact of the matter is, people in Michigan want to get their state open back up. We haven't had a stay home order since late spring. But I know that he never lets the facts get in the way of comments that he's making. Every moment that we are not focused on the fact that there are 220,000 Americans who have died from this virus is good for him. So in that sense, as he incites additional violence against people who are just trying to save one another's lives, it's good for him. He wasn't doing anything, I, I don't think, to provoke people to threaten this woman at all. He was having fun at a Trump rally. And quite frankly, there are bigger issues than this right now for everyday Americans. Democrats attack us too. George, and threats go up to us too. I mean, Governor Whitmer, we of course want her to be safe and healthy, but she has locked down our state. People of goodwill on both sides of the aisle need to step up and call this out and bring the heat mm -hmm. down. This is the United States of America. We do not tolerate actions like he is giving comfort to, and that's why we all have to be in this together.